everybody. As you can see, I am with Clint from Clint's Reptiles, and we are at the RAD Zoo. It stands for the Reptile and Amphibian Discovery Zoo, and we had to have Clint with us because he's trying to bring back the term rad, I guess. Trying. Trying. It, it needs to come back, and there is no radder place, perhaps than the Rad Zoo. It's perfect, we had to bring him here. We are going to tour it for our first time as well, actually. And I think we should start with these iguanas and tortoises. We came here at the perfect time, it turns out, because Melissa is gonna feed these guys their salad. So what's all in their salad? Um, so we got different lettuces uh, today. Um, some spinach, some tortoise pellets, and then some fruits. I got apples, grapes, blackberries. Honestly, that salad looks pretty good to me. <laughs> How do I get in yeah. there? I was gonna say those blackberries look really good. Yeah, they yeah. do. That's the biggest red foot tortoise I've ever seen. <laughs> We're actually, most of these are rescues, right? All of these right here, except for one. Really? Um, over half the animals here at the zoo are animals that we've adopted that, that people didn't have homes for. Some that were great pets, like um, our bearded dragons, our leopard geckos, and some of our others, and seven alligators that were terrible ideas for pets. <laughs> so I'm sure, much like you, we 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 just we we encourage proper pet choices. So this is Jamie and Melissa, and they you guys run the whole place, right? We do. It's our family enterprise. So tell us about how you started up the Red Zoo. Uh, we were working down in Florida um, together at the Jacksonville Zoo, and then um, Melissa was in the bird department, I was in the herp department, and then we. Um, Went down to Disney's Animal Kingdom for a while and decided we were going to come start our own business back up in Minnesota. We wanted to raise our kids up here and we started this out about nine years ago. We moved into this building and have just been making improvements and adding new exhibits and animals ever since. And I also just learned that, Clint, you worked at the Animal Kingdom. I also Kingdom. worked at the Animal Kingdom, like, just, you know, a few hundred yards away from huh. where they worked. That's, That's crazy. Right. You worked at the same, place. the same place. Nice. Well, I'm really excited to check out the zoo. So, do you mind showing us around? It's like, you're totally red. Red. Yeah. it will be totally red. <laughs> <laughs> I found an alligator. Oh! She's so sweet! I'm so glad you spotted her. <gasps> I'm gonna take her home. <laughs> Good idea. Wouldn't be the first time you've done that. This is a fly river turtle native to northern Australia and New Guinea. They're just a bizarre animal. They've got flippers like a sea turtle almost, but they're a freshwater turtle. They live in a lot of the rivers and billabongs. This one's doubled in size since we had it and has the potential to double again. It'll be a huge turtle eventually. I just wanted to ask you about these guys, the Bulkurts water snake. I've never heard of that before and they look amazing. They are so cool. Can you tell me about it? Uh, yeah, they're South Southeast Asian species. They are voracious little feeders, kind of like our northern water snakes. We'll throw a handful of uh, fish in there and they just go to town. It lasts about a minute or two and they're done for. Do they spend very much time on land at all or are they almost, almost completely none. aquatic? They are I mean, we've so... given them perching opportunities, a little bit more perching in the past and they just, they stay tucked under low. They just like to be under. And they flick their tongue under the water too. They do. They smell for the fish. That is such an incredible looking snake. I've never heard of them in my life. <laughs> Me neither. That is so neat. We're keeping Ed busy in the toy area. Are you having fun? I found this cool table. Good job, you found the props. Are you learning a lot? I found my two turtles. Yes. <laughs> They're feeding the veiled chameleons. Look at them. Look at them go. Their eyes move independently when they're not spotting food just yet, but when they spot food, they bring both eyes together so they have binocular vision, and then they shoot them with that bodacious tongue. There is probably no cooler feeding structure in the whole world than that. Yeah. Oh. Bam! <laughs> that is so cool. Well, it turns out we met Brenna here, who also watches our channel. And Brenna, what's your favorite reptile here at the Red Zoo? The blue tongue skink. Blue tongue skink, that's a great choice. Can you, oh, I actually haven't seen that yet. Can you show me where it is? Yeah. Let's go check it out. Oh, oh you have one actually out. Oh, nice. I can see why this would be your favorite reptile here. Why is it your favorite reptile at the Red Zoo? I just like it because it has a blue tongue, it's like long, and it's pretty cute. They are very cute, I agree. Well, thank you for introducing me to your favorite reptile here. It was great meeting you, Brenna, high five. Where'd Clint go? 
Really? You're putting your head in the T-Rex mouth? Uh, yeah. Of course I am. Are you kidding? I was born for this. Isn't this a gorgeous boa? Clint? It is really beautiful. Wow. I see those as babies quite a bit, but one this big. And those colors. Like, oh, yeah. Well, this one's got an interesting story. Anyone here a beaver believer? <gasps> yes. Yeah. Well, this was um, Justin's pet many no. years ago. No way. This is um, just when he came in, just a tiny little guy. He's put out a few pounds. That was but Justin Beaver's Justin had put him up in Get a um, fundraising auction when he wasn't ready to take care of him any longer. And um, someone bought the snake and sent it to the zoo in December, of all things. So oh. luckily it survived the um, transit. They wanted to go to a better home, but they just didn't have the best means of getting it here. Oh, he's in good hands. He's done real well for us. He's he a gentle good. animal and um, growing steadily and just a beautiful snake. Is he pretty friendly? He is. Oh, that's really neat. Somebody recently was asking me like, if I could have any reptile be a reasonable size and reasonable care to keep, what would it be? And I said Carnotaurus. But then they said it has to be an extant reptile, and so then I went crocodilian. This would be the ultimate dream reptile right here what? if it just stayed like this. And something I wanted to point out is notice how her coloration, she's already kind of lost that baby coloration. And I, I heard that a lot of people are concerned that Rex isn't as old as Rex is. Well, yeah. Rex is very old and still has that baby coloration. Yes. at the Red Zoo. This is Jasmine, and now I've got to know, what's your favorite reptile at the zoo? The rosy the rosy boa? The rosy boa? Well, that's so perfect because Jamie actually has one out right now. Good choice, by the way. Why is this your favorite reptile here? Because it has nice colors and it looks beautiful. Nice colors and looks choices. beautiful. That is a very beautiful snake. Thank you for showing me your favorite reptile. Thanks for taking one out. You're very welcome. It was great meeting you. High five, Jasmine. Yeah. Nice. Wow. This is an amazing zoo. I was blown by how many different species and rare species are here. Yeah. What was your favorite reptile well, or I think, amphibian? I think a lot of things were pretty rad. And choosing which one was the raddest is tough. But one of them, one of them that was probably the most exciting was watching them feed the snapping turtles. Both yeah. the alligator snapping turtle and the common snapping turtle. That was a totally rad experience. That what was, was your favorite part? I think my favorite species here was the Beaucourt's water snake. Those were awesome. I'd never heard of them before. I hadn't heard of them either. And how they tongue flick underwater. Really stinking cool. Really rad. Yes. Reptiles that were here at the Rad Zoo. They were. Thank you so much for the tour. You are so welcome. It's been a great time. So if people want to learn more about the Rad Zoo or where to find it, where can they go? You can go to our website, theradzoo.com, and then you can also like us on Facebook, and we have occasional videos on there as well. Nothing like what you do, but we have a few videos here of um, some of our animals with a few of their, their fun activities on there. And, and on our website, we have do have a meet the animal section where they can learn about some of the animals that we have here as well. You're in Owatonna, Minnesota. Yeah, about an hour south of the Twin Cities. It's not bad, actually. No. Yeah. No, definitely worth the drive, guys. If you're in the Twin Cities area, check out the Rad Zoo in Owatonna. We do shows every day. We have at least one show, multiple shows on the weekends, and then we have our feed times on Saturdays and Sundays. Well, thank you again everyone for watching today's video. Go check out Clint's Reptiles on YouTube as well. Thank you for joining us. Too. Oh, of course. Thank you for having me, Emily. It was, was great. Was so much fun. I always love hanging out with you. <laughs> and this isn't the only video Clint and I are taking no. with Jamie here at the Rad Zoo. There's another one coming out if it's not out on his channel already. Three. Yeah, there's one more on your channel and actually <laughs> one bonus one coming out in the future on our channel where we filmed all of the uh, feedings from today. So definitely check out those videos. If they're not out already, they will be up soon. They're gonna be stinking rad. Thank you to our Patreon supporters as well for backing this channel and we'll all see you next time. I'm gonna take her home. <laughs> Good idea. Wouldn't be the first time you've done that. <laughs> what do you do? You could, you could pan up to the picture of it and you can see that it's... Yeah. Yeah, we'll just leave that. You had to stop right there. Keep swimming. <laughs>
do you guys like Justin Bieber? <laughs> do <Okay>. I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That were here at the Rad Zoo. They were. And, and did you know sorry, that I should wait? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we're both equally excited about oh, this. Oh, this is so exciting. Bloopers. <laughs> say that I got Beaver. Beaver. <laughs>